Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a quick fill-in haul from Aldi. I spent $71 and some change, so I will jump right in for you guys. So I grabbed some of these extra large flour tortillas. My husband loves these things. He makes breakfast burritos and um, also different types of wraps at lunch since he is working from home and has been since the pandemic began. And then I saw this holiday cranberry candle. It smells so good. And they had two other scents. They had a first snow, which kind of smelled like peppermint. And then they also had a vanilla. But to me, this one smelled the very best. If you've never had their candles before, I'd say they pro they're probably better than Bath and & Body. And they burn evenly and they have a really strong throw or scent. Then I grabbed some sugar and I needed some onions for recipes. I was completely out of tomato sauce, so I grabbed six cans. I think those were 30 cents each. And then they had all sorts of little cute little cookie kits. So I grabbed this one. This was $2 and some change. Um, Mini Trees shortbread, shortbread Cookie Kit. And so it comes with a cookie cutter, it comes with the mix, and it comes with the little sprinkles there. And then all you need to do is add butter to it, and it makes 48 cookies. I saw it somewhere. Oh, there it is, it makes 48 cookies. So they had this one, and then they also had a um, pinwheel one. The pinwheel was a sugar cookie, and the pinwheel, um, the cookies, sorry, were um, red, green, and, uh, red and green, I think. And so they had that one too, and it was the same price, but I preferred this one. And then they had this ugly sweater sugar cookie kit and it was $4 and some change. Now I thought these cookies were already made and that you just decorate them, um, but they're not. You actually have to bake them yourself, which is fine. I just didn't read it well enough before I picked it up. But it comes with the sugar cookie mix, the frosting, all the little candies that you see all over the little um, cookies and then piping bag and it was $4 and I think it was 49 cents. So I thought that was a really good deal and it's super cute. Um, and then I needed some cabbage. I'm probably gonna make some sausage and potato soup pretty soon. Um, and then I needed some more Baker's Joy. Of course, this isn't Baker's Joy, but this is their knockoff for baking. It's the um, it's a non-stick spray that has flour in it already. And then I grabbed some salsa verde for some recipes. Um, I grabbed some jasmine rice, and then I grabbed my favorite butter cookies. Um, they only bring these out around Christmas, and so these were, I think, $1.79 a bag, and they are a really good crispy butter cookie, and they taste homemade. Let me see if I can show you the ingredients, because there's nothing weird in them, stuff that you would have at home. Um, flour, sugar, egg, butter, fat, and whey, that's it. And these are the best butter cookies ever. Love these things. And then I grabbed some animal crackers. I am addicted to these animal crackers. I think they were $1.99 a box. And if you are old enough to remember McDonald Land cookies, these are what these taste like. They are so good. Grabbed my rice, that's a staple for me. I grab it every time I go to Aldi because I, make a lot of different rice dishes. And by the way, our What's For Dinner videos come out on Tuesday if you're interested in seeing the types of uh, food that we eat and recipes that I cook. I was almost all out of cheese, so I grabbed some sharp cheddar slices and then also a brick of cheese. I prefer to shred my own cheese for recipes and not use the pre-shredded most of the time. So grabbed a brick of sharp cheddar, grabbed a brick of Monterey, um, I don't know that I've ever seen this Wisconsin extra sharp cheddar, but I grabbed one of those and then also some Colby. And I don't think I've ever seen just plain Colby. I've seen Colby Jack, but I don't remember. Maybe I have. Um, grabbed some bacon, totally out of that and needed some. Grabbed these two new cheeses. From what I understand, it's supposed to taste like the Trader Joe's, um, oh, what's the name of that cheese? I'll insert it because I can't remember the name of it. Um, 
but it's supposed to be like that, but it's way cheaper. So this was $3.89, both of these. So this is just an Australian grass-fed cheddar cheese, unexpected cheddar. That's the name of the um, Trader Joe's, unexpected cheddar. Um, so that, and then I also grabbed this one, cheddar and Parmesan cheese, that sounded really good. My husband and I both love cheese, so we can eat this with some crackers. And then this was new, um, thick cut mild white cheddar cheese. And this will be good just to have if I need to throw some cheese on something. I love this gourmet spreadable cheese and they don't always have it. So whenever I see it, I grab it and I just eat it on crackers. And then I also like this chive and onion cream cheese spread. I use it for bagels or for cooking. And then I have been looking for these in my store for a very long time. They hardly ever have them. I like Rice Krispie Treats and normally I make my own Rice Krispie Treats, um, but sometimes you just want a quick fix. So I actually do not like the Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats um, that they sell on a box like this. To me, they taste super sweet and artificial. I've heard that these are way better and they don't taste super sweet and they taste more homemade. So I'm excited to try these out. And then the last few things I got, I got for my 10 month old son, Harrison. He loves these rice crackers. So I got him a banana strawberry and then also an apple. And then I got him two of the containers of the banana puffs. All right, so this is everything that I picked up on my quick Aldi fill and haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.